So I bet at different times in your lives, you've all heard people mention that sometimes they just take the Bible and let it fall open. And very often the passage that the Bible falls open to for them speaks directly to them. And yes, that absolutely happens sometimes. For me, it happened this week. As I was looking at the readings, as I was preparing for today, the thought occurred to me, with a certain degree of confidence, really, that everyone that comes to church, everyone that ever thinks about God, recognizes that God always has something to say to us. Sometimes he has something to say to us as an individual. And sometimes he has something to say to us as members or as a full community. And today, I think that God is saying, speaking really very clearly to both us as individuals and us as a community. Today's readings and gospel present us with three passages that certainly spoke to me as an individual, but they also spoke to me as a member of this community. And on the surface, as these three passages, these three phrases from the, the readings and the gospel today jumped out at me, my first thought was, they don't really go together. They almost seem to contradict each other. But then as I reflected on it, it occurred to me, in the first reading we heard, when a sieve is shaken, the husks appear. So do one's faults when one speaks. And in the gospel we heard, why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? And I thought to myself, both of these passages, God seems to be telling us something. And I know he was telling me something. I know he was telling me I need to be less critical of others. And I really need to be aware of my own faults before I address them to other people who I see I clearly see their faults, never my own. And then in the second reading, we heard, therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be firm, steadfast, always fully devoted to the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord, your labor is not in vain. And when I heard it, and when I read it, it occurred to me that they don't really contradict each other. And they really do very closely speak to the same thing. The three passages that jumped out at me, I realized once again, Jesus is giving us a very simple message to live by. A message that I know I need to work harder to make a part of my life, but also a message that I think we as a community, if we spend more time focusing on it and trying to come together, some more time reflecting on it and trying to incorporate it into our lives as a community, we will end up with a much stronger, much stronger community and a much happier, safer world. So for me, the takeaway of today is that if I'm firm, steadfast, and always devoted to the work of the Lord, not only will my work never be in vain, but I won't have time to be critical of others. And if, as a community, we hear and follow this, think for just a moment about my, how much better our world can be, how much better our world will certainly be if we stay focused on what the, all of our work and focused on the fact that we're doing it for the Lord.